Yeah, so uh, last time when I had visited uh, Shenzhen, uh, I got this power supplies uh, from Shenzhen. They are like very cheap. Um, if you get it direct from China, and um, so in India they cost about about uh, 180 to 250 rupees. Uh, whereas in China I got them for about 70 rupees. So that's very cheap, and it's 12 volts and 2 amps. Mm, it looks pretty robust. Uh, if you see inside, it has one um, common mode choke, uh, some MOV, uh, X, fil X capacitor filters, one fuse, some rectifier diodes, one big transformer. Uh, so it looks good as of now. Uh, the metal shielding is also good. The earthing is provided. Um, not for outdoor use, but definitely okay for indoor use. I'm not going to check the rating because anyway, I don't plan to uh, do, uh, you know, extract the entire 2 amps from this power supply. But when I, what I'm more bothered is what is the no load power. So why a no load power is very important is in case of, uh, in case of many applications, uh, we use this power supply uh, once in a while in loaded condition. But most of the other time they just are connected to the power supply, but not actually supplying any load. Uh, there are numerous cases of no load condition like for example this mobile adapter I have another mobile adapter they are always connected uh, even though they are not really supplying to anything their just plug is open so they are running under no load even this type C uh, adapter it's not connected to anything but it it draws very small power so I wanted to know how much power this draws uh, when it is in no load condition so let me just connect it and I'll show you uh, here is a, an energy meter. It's not fully calibrated, but it will give us a rough cut reading in terms of power. Yeah, so uh, this wire is connected to this power supply uh, to this. I have two of them. So let us check one by one. So I'll plug it in. And initially it takes 0 0.8 and then it settles down to about 0 0.64 to 0 0.65 watts. 0.60 watts yes there is an led which is glowing and that's the only load and maybe there is some uh, default load some minimum load is needed for the stability of the control system which maintains 12 volts in the output but overall it takes a power of about 0.64 watts now let us check the uh, the second piece this one okay uh, so the second power supply is now connected earlier we tested this now we will test this and let me just connect this plug back into the supply Okay, so it also comes down to 0 0.68 or 67. So uh, both of them are 0 0.65. So both of them are fairly uh, close to each other. So the no load current or sorry, the no load power is about 0 0.67 or 65 watts. Mm. And why I'm more bothered is um, if I'm using 15 or 20 of this power supply. Okay, by the way, I'm touching it. I don't feel any shock. So... <laughs> So I guess it is safe. I have not really checked the earthing connection, but there is an earthing connection that is given here. But overall, what I can say is that the power consumption of this is a decent one. It consumes about um, 0.61 or 0.65 watts, which is consistent in both the case. So yeah, so that's a fairly quick check. Let us see when we use it in the final application. And if I have 20 of them, let's say, so I will consume over 12 watts, which is, um, which is, uh, you know, which will be permanently drawing. So even if I'm not using this for running anything else on the output, it still draws 12 watts if I have 20 of this power supply connected in my house across different points. I plan to use it for home automation purpose. So, yeah, so the no load current is something that is also important for me.